connecting 2 million people across the Klang Valley in the year 2020, LRT3 will bring the communities closer while enhancing the connectivity of the urban rail system. The construction of LRT3 will comply with global standards and procedures for the benefit and safety of our community. LRT3's construction consists of several key activities, namely construction of piers, viaducts and stations. The construction activities will begin with the deployment of safety barricades on the roads along the alignment with well-planned distance between the workspace and the public to ensure safety of the road users and to prevent debris from getting into the roadway. Utilities will then be relocated where necessary to make way for the pavement widening works. As the works take place, the existing traffic lanes are maintained. Traffic will then be directed to the newly widened pavement and space at the road median will be barricaded and separated from the public. The construction of viaducts and stations will begin with the commencement of foundation structures. Piling works will begin with board piling, which is a modern-day technique for building a solid foundation for tall structures. Sheet piles will then be installed to further provide support and retain the soil. To provide a firm foundation, pile caps will be put in place, distributing the load of the LRT3 structure onto the piles. With the piles and pile caps in place, the piers will be constructed using system framework to minimize disruption to areas surrounding the worksite. After the piers are constructed, the sheet piles will be extracted from the soil and the system framework will be removed to allow for the installation of the pier cap. The pier cap will function to support the viaduct section. During the installation of pier caps, Traffic will be managed using the stop-and-go method to ensure the safety of road users. The viaducts for the LRT3 will be constructed using the Utrecht technology, a world-class technology which is being utilized for the first time in a Malaysian railway project. An integrated design, Utrecht has inbuilt noise barrier. The use of this technology allows us to ensure that there is minimal disruption to the surrounding areas. With the Utrecht technology, at least one span can be installed in a day against three days using the segmental box girder method. The use of the Utrecht technology in the LRT3 project will ensure a timely construction schedule. The concrete spans are brought on site by steerable multi-axle trailers. Safety is vital with each concrete span being escorted by one lead rider and one LRT3 vehicle at the front of the trailer, while one clearance rider will be escorting from the back of the trailer. The Utrecht concrete spans are on average 30 meters in length and are precast off-site, reducing the need for infrastructure needed on site. To ensure the safety of the passers-by, the viaducts will be installed only during nighttime, with strict safety procedures implemented. Traffic flow will be contained on a single lane, while the remaining two lanes will be utilized for the placement of cranes, trailers and outriggers. As the Utrecht arrives, the concrete spans will be lifted in place using cranes. While the viaducts are lifted onto piers, traffic will be managed using the stop-and-go method, while super cones and variable message signages will be used to control and direct the traffic. LRT3 project managers will be on site throughout the process to ensure all procedures are complied with. All cranes will be operated only by competent personnel who hold valid certificates and licenses and have more than five years of work experience. Concurrently, the LRT3 station will be constructed. The piers will be casted at site and temporary formwork will be set up to facilitate the construction of crossheads. Safety nets will be placed beneath the formworks to protect motorists and construction workers. The construction of the station concourse begins with the launching of precast beams by cranes. The precast beams will be supported by the crossheads. The concourse slabs will be casted and the columns will be constructed. The columns will serve to support the station's platform. Construction of station will continue with the construction of the platform slab prior to the casting of the Utrecht concrete span. Finally, the perimeter wall 
and roof of the station will be built to complete the construction sequence. Tanja was selected as the concept blends these LRT3 stations, its national and cultural identity. An open space on the roof of the Tanja design station allows for more natural lighting in these stations, providing warmth and visual comforts for commuters awaiting their LRT3 journey while maximizing energy efficiency. Safety and comfort will be our utmost priority throughout the construction process of the LRT3 project.